our first map, Mad Hatters versus Musasaurus. As we connect up to the servers, Battle on the Dunes. It is an entire tournament based off of 2v2 Deathmatch. So that's all that the uh, games are going to be for those interested. And again, Oracle, fourth Oracle, will be joining us here as soon as as soon as he can come around. Let's get to the loadouts and get this first game underway. That which shall be piloted by Velvet, first ship for the Mad Hatters. It's a Pyramidian with a Hades and a Flak on the front and Flamer and Flare on the side. We also have the Pinprick, piloted by Ziggy Zoo, that has a Get Mortar on the front of it. That's a Metamidian. With a flamer and a flare on the side. And for, <laughs> for the Musasaurus, the dev team, first ship, the Pyro. It's a junker piloted by Bubbles. On the left-hand side, we have a Hades and an Artemis. On the front, we have an Artemis. And on the right-hand side, we have a Gat Mortar. And for the last ship for Musasaurus, we have the Resplendent, piloted by Kivias. It's a Lumberfish with a side... Flare, and side double flare for support. We'll see how that works out for them. All right, let's take a look at the exact positioning we have so far. Now, timing will be of the essence as these games are pretty, pretty accurately timed. They only have a short amount of time for a first kill for that time to be extended as well. So they're going to have to get into the thick of it right away here. Pyro and Resplendent on the north side of the junk. Of the uh, wreck, rather, and the pinprick, and that pinprick, and that which shall be, is on the south side. That looks to be changing pretty quickly, though. And yes, Delta Jug in chat does mention that double flare seems to be a little bit overkill for what the flare is available to do. So why do it in the first place? It's it's a strange combination. Oh, Sammy says it's a straight 30 minutes. Oh, I, never mind. <laughs> I thought there was a different timing scheme. Right. Sunday community event. There we go. So many new events going on right now. The Pyro is the first to get hit. Taking a lot of damage. Already down armor pretty far under half. They're burning Moonshine trying to get out of the way. The balloon bursts. They can hit the balloon pretty hard. A couple components are on fire as well. The Pinprick, though, loses their balloon at the same time. And half of their armor, Pyro's armor going down pretty quickly, getting focused down by both that which shall be and the pin for Gatlin cannons doing an amazing job of ripping through the armor and the hull on that junker. The Pyro is caught between these two Pyramidians and there is no, oh, there is no relief. That was absolutely brutal. Printrick just quickly swung on the far side of the Junker and kept them from grouping back up with the Resplendent. Resplendent now is going in, using that Lumberjack in close range. It's not quite as effective as it normally is. Resplendent taking a lot of damage from that which shall be as well, having been able to sit back pretty comfortably most of this short game so far. Pyro has spawned back in. For the Musasaurus team, they're on the far northwestern side of the map. Resplendent is still getting hit. Looks like they might try to get out of there. They're burning moonshine in the engines, but they do have an engine fire they need to deal with as well. I can only imagine everyone is on repair duties right now on the Resplendent, trying to get out of there. One engine does go down. Their armor goes down. The pinprick and that which shall be are having a field day with the resplendence engine gone. That goldfish cannot take much more. Flak shots and Hades shots coming in along with Gatling. Pinprick moving in for a kill. There it is. Hull finally goes down 2 0 in favor of the Mad Hatters. Whew. Very exciting so far. Extremely exciting so far. Musasaurus tried to get aggressive early on, and it just didn't work out in their favor. The Pyro got split off early and taken out, and the Resplendent didn't have much luck. Lumberjack shots going out from a recently respawned Resplendent. That's a mouthful. Pyro is doing the best to tank Pinprick. 
taking the brunt of that gap mortar as the pyro swings its right side. Great job by the Musasaurus ship pyro to swing that gap mortar as quickly as possible while that pyramidian was charging. Muse team trying to collect themselves, get a second kill, and even the leaderboard up. Or anything else might happen. That which shall be is trying to, they're trying to reverse. Looks like they may be pretty clear. They did, they did lose their balloon, as did the pyro. But engines are at 100%. I do believe that which shall be as long as it stays out of arc of that lumberjack. They should be fine. We're going to skip on the ground just a little bit here, but that's that's acceptable in this situation. It was a downward slope. It didn't really do a ton of damage. And as soon as 4th Oracle swings around, he's going to join me in the cast. I know you guys are looking forward to hearing him on the mic as well. That which shall be trying to fend off the resplendent. That lumberjack doing an amazing job at that range, but unfortunately those shots are going very low. That which shall be is reversing as quickly as it possibly can. And that lumberjack is having a bit of a hard time connecting from the looks of things. There we go. Better shots coming out from the resplendent. They're just a little bit. They are starting to land those, I believe, burst. Lumberjack shots. Pinprick swinging around just above that which shall be. Looks like he's going to hide in this dust cloud just a little bit and use it to its advantage. Sneak up on the resplendent just a little bit. Pyro is sitting out there as well. Both Musasaurus ships have been spotted. That which shall be moving forward using cloud cover to their advantage. Hades and flag shots flinging out at the same time. Normally, you really need to wait for a hull break or an armor break, rather, for that flak to be useful. But I think they're just trying to get whatever damage they can on the pyro. Pinprick is in there. Gap Mortar is going out. Both the Pinprick and the Pyro are taking a lot of damage. An absolute ton of damage. Pyro lost their armor. Those flag shots are hitting the hull now. Down to half hull. Balloon is gone on the Junker as well. Oh my goodness. The power of the light flak. You cannot underestimate the power of either flak cannon when you have your armor down. If you don't have armor to protect yourself from those flak blasts, they are going to eat your hull alive. You have to be very careful with them. Great use of the light flak by the Mad Hatter's team. Amazing use of it. Resplendent reversing there, trying to get out of arc as best as they can. Shots are still landing. The pinprick, though, is taking a lot of damage. Gap mortar side of the pyro is really doing a number on it. Mortar shots coming in, starting to eat the hull of the pinprick alive. One more shot will do it, but it doesn't land. It misses. It just goes a little, tiny bit above. So close. The pinprick is in such a bad spot now, though. The resplendent has arc on it. Those shots just need to land. Pinprick could go down here if they aren't careful. Pyro, on the other hand, that which shall be is doing a serious number on them. That light flag is really ripping it to shreds. And they, yes, Scopel, uh, Holy Roman Army versus the, uh, I forget what MM stands for. Wow. <laughs> versus MM over on Imagine Stream. That's really, that, Merry Men. There we go. Right on the tip of my tongue. I should know that too. They're a fantastic group. Pyro is just barely holding on. It has almost no hull armor left. Pinprick is in a very similar situation with the Resplendent, but close range Lumberjack just doesn't do it, especially when a Gatling cannon is involved. Gat Mortar. That Midian, in fact. Resplendent is holding on. We did, however, lose the Pyro. It's now 4 1 in favor of the Mad Hatters.
Resplendent could be the last kill of this first game of the Hephaestus Challenge. Pyro spawns back in. Resplendent trying to keep Ark on the pinprick. But at that close range, the Lumberjack just isn't as effective as it could be unless they're loading Lochnagar ammo. I believe they're at, they are out of arming time now, so those shots can start doing some real damage. Pyro coming in on the pinprick. Getting that gap mortar on top of the pinprick. Armor down. Hull is exposed. A single mortar shot will do it. Armor comes back up, though, on the pinprick. Gatling Cannon continuing. Resplendent is going in for a Goomba stop. Is it going to work? No! Doesn't get the time. Pyro gets their mortar, their double barrel mortar back together, and they are good to go. That which shall be is all alone against the Resplendent and the Pyro. We'll see how effective they can be. Lumberjack shots are starting to go out against that which shall be. They're getting pretty close, too, but they are not hitting. They are definitely swinging just a little wide right. There's a hit! There's a hit on that which shall be's balloon. Balloon is definitely hurting pretty severely, starting to burn down. They also have a couple component fires and one engine that's gone already. They have to deal with a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Difficult to do so, especially when you have a lumberjack firing at you. Pinprick has spawned back in. I'm not sure. It is coming in. It is coming in. If you guys could see on the map, it is about at the center of the map, heading north at a very brisk pace. An extremely brisk pace. That which shall be is now turning tail, exposing its engine column, but I don't believe it has a ton to worry about. Those lumberjack shots are still pretty inaccurate from the resplendent. They're just, they're not able to hit effectively enough to slow down that which shall be. They do lose one engine. Shots coming in from the pyro. I believe those are Artemis shots. That which shall be is now starting to take some pretty severe damage. They did load Moonshine for just a few minutes there. Pinprick is moving in. Using that gat, they've loaded greased rounds into it. Very good option. Mortars are going out. The Resplendent still has its armor up though, so they're not going to do much if they had landed in the first place. Pinprick is taking a lot of damage, but the Resplendent is also taking a lot of damage. Pinprick moving in for a ram. Is it gonna be enough? Resplendent has lost their armor. Hull is at half. Balloon is gone. Pinprick's armor's down as well. Mortar shots coming in from the pyro, but it wasn't quite on time. Resplendent, a sliver of health left from that which shall be. Oh my goodness. Pyro takes care of it, but it's not enough. That which shall be kills the goldfish. And the Musasaurus team goes down to the Mad Hatters. In an incredible five versus three match, to kick off the Hephaestus Challenge for this May 31st, 2014. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. I'm Dan, joined by Rob on the cameras. We will have Oracle joining us, <laughs> joining us as soon as he comes around. It's going to be a fantastic day, folks.